Hi, and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M, and today I wanted to go over the contour feature in Cricut Design Space. Now you may be asking, what is the contour feature? Basically, it's the ability to hide or remove part of an image. And I'm going to show you why you'd want to do that in a few examples. So the first example here is I have an image, it's a party, and say I wanted to cut out the word party in a different color. Well, because it's all together, it's going to cut on the same mat, and I want it to be on another mat in a different color. So sometimes you're able to ungroup things, and that's the easiest way, and for the most part, some of the designs you're able to do that. But if you have an image that is not able to ungroup, this is where the contour feature comes in. So the first thing that I want to do is try to ungroup this. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup. And as you can see, I'm able to move this along. Perfect. So let's try to ungroup this again. And now you can see that there is not an ungroup available. Okay. So like I said, in this example, I want party to cut from a different color. Now, if I was to send this to the mat now, it would all be on the same mat. So let's duplicate this. So I'm going to click the duplicate up in the top right. And now I have two of these. This, in this example, it's going to be a two-step process. So I'm going to highlight my first image. And now I'm going to come down here to contour in the bottom right-hand corner. And I'm going to click that and the hide contour window comes up. Now if you can see, as I'm hovering my mouse over part of the image, it's changing to a darker gray color. At first, it's a little bit difficult to see, but once you get practice and using this, it really becomes second nature. So in this example, I want to hide all the elements in party. So I'm going to click on each element. And as you can see, it turns slightly a different color. When you move your mouse away, you can see that it's a lighter gray. So I'm going to click each element, and those are all selected. And now I'm going to go ahead and click the X button up here on the top right. And now, as you can see, the word party was removed from this image. So now what I want to do is go to my second image. So I'm going to click my second image. I'm going to go on down here to the contour button. And now I want to remove its A. So I'm going to go ahead and click on all of the little elements that make up that design. And now I'm going to go ahead and click the X button again. Now my image is separated into two images. And so if I go over here onto the right hand side of the panel where it says party and I click on the color, I can change that to a purple. And now this image will cut on two separate mats. And so if I was to assemble it after the fact, now I'm able to have my image look like this. So that is one example. All right, so let's move on to my next example. So say you had a design like this, and there's a couple different reasons why I might use this example. So the first one would be if I maybe I want to remove the center flower out of this design and maybe cut that in a different color or say that you cut out your pieces and something happened to one of them. So this is a pretty intricate design with a bunch of little elements to it. So in my experience, I always lose pieces. So sometimes I'll cut a few extra, but say you cut this out and you lost a couple of the dots and you were using scrap paper and you didn't have enough to cut the entire image so you just needed to cut these two dots out at the top. What do you do? So again the first thing you want to do is right click and see if you can ungroup it. And in this example you cannot ungroup it. So again this is where the contour feature comes in. So you want to make sure your image is highlighted. You'll go down here to the right hand corner of contour and your hide contour window shows up. And again, you want to go ahead and click on anything that you do not want left over. So I'm going to go ahead and click on all of these pieces because I'm going to remove all of them. 
And as you can see the difference between one that's clicked and one that isn't, you can see this element here I have not clicked yet and it is darker than the ones that I have. When I click it, it turns the light gray. So just go through and click all these pieces. And we'll just leave these top four here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close my window. And now you can see the only thing left is those four pieces. Okay, so that is perfect. So you can go ahead and cut that out as well. So that's another way that you can use this feature. All right, and this brings me to my final example. Now say you have a design like this that says it's a party and you wanted it to say it's my party. This is another great use of the contour feature. So the first thing I want to do is see if I can ungroup it, and I can. So I'm going to ungroup it, and I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to go down here to my contour feature on the bottom right, and we're going to hide the A, and then we're going to X out. Now, if I wanted to use this for a project by itself, now I can go ahead and use this balloon. It's perfect. So let's continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this, hide the contour, or click on the contour. Now I'm going to click on the A, exit out, and now that's completely removed. So now let's put my in there. So I'm going to go over here to my text tool, and I'm going to type out my, and I'm going to move it over here. We're going to size it up to what we think it looks good. All right. So now here comes a couple of extra steps. I'm going to highlight the my to make sure it's highlighted and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to go up here to the top right and hit duplicate. All right. Now I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to highlight these three elements. I'm going to go over here to the align window and I'm going to center those together. All right. Now that those are centered together, I'm going to click and I'm going to move this back to where it was. Let me take a second to get it lined up. Perfect. All right. So now I want to go over here to my right hand panel and I want to click to select one of my texts. I'm going to hold my shift button and I'm going to select the balloon and now I'm able to move that off to the side. Now I have both selected because you can see they're highlighted in gray. I'm going to move down here to my slice panel. I'm going to click that once. And now I can go ahead and remove the text and this piece and I have my here. So I'm going to go ahead and click these and delete it. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my shape here. I'm just highlighting both of them. I'm going to go ahead and click slice. And then I'm going to go in and move these off to the side also and I can go ahead and delete these by highlighting them. And now if I move my, oops, gotta move my balloon back to the front, so move it forward. I just right clicked there and clicked move forward. I can move my balloon back. And now I have, it's my party. So there's some of the things that you can use the contour feature for. I think a lot of people have questions about it and I hope I was able to show you a few examples on the uses of that and hope that it helps you out. I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on my videos. It really helps me out. And until later, have a great day.